the Kobo H6 heart rate monitor chest strap. That is what we're going to be looking at today. Welcome to the video guys and girls. Today I have the Cosbo H6 heart rate monitor and we are gonna be unboxing, looking at the technical details. We're gonna be connecting to iOS, Android and the cycle computer. Then we're gonna go on a road test and then look at the data and make sure that this is actually accurate and see if this cheap Amazon heart rate monitor is actually worth buying. So let's jump straight in with the unboxing. I have added timestamps, so if you want to jump to a part of the video that is specific for you, the one you wanna see, then you can do so in the description below and the first comment. Right, so let's get this thing out of the box. Nothing too special. Let's pull that out. We have what appears to be the strap here. Pull that through. And then we'll have the actual unit, which is separate. There we go, so that's the actual receiver, or the sensor, pretty neat. It's got two little clips that will clip to the actual strap. So, user manual, and then we've got the actual strap, so let's get the strap out. There we go. Strap feels like quite a nice material, actually. You can see on the strap, actually, that feels quite good. That'll probably be quite good against your skin. Um, and we've got the two points here where we can simply clip this on. So, seems to take a little bit of force. There we go, that's two on. It's relatively big, I would say it's quite, quite deep. When I look at my Garmin heart rate monitor, let me just grab that quick. We can see that the Garmin is a little bit thinner, but to be honest, it's actually longer. So that's a little comparison compared to the Garmin heart rate monitor and the Kospu H6 heart rate monitor. And that will just clip onto that like that. Perfect, so we're all in. Looking good. So now we have it out of the box, let's take a look at the technical details. Now this is a real time heart rate monitor that can connect to apps and it can connect to watches and it can connect to cycle computers. Many people have reported issues connecting to Android devices, so I will be testing that later on in the video. As with many of these devices, you can connect via Bluetooth or you can connect via Ant Plus. Now the heart rate monitor is IP67 rated. What does that mean? Well, the first six means that no dust should be able to get in. It's fully sealed. And the seven means that this is waterproof. And the waterproof test is one meter depth for 30 minutes. So nothing should get in to this heart rate monitor. And you need it to be fully waterproof because when you have it around your chest and you are exercising, obviously you're gonna be sweating. To power the heart rate monitor, there is a little coin cell battery. It's worth noting that there is no on or off button. So this simply starts sending a signal when you have the heart rate monitor on and it will automatically go to sleep. Right, so now we know the technical details, let's connect via Bluetooth and AMP Plus. Before we jump in, I quickly wanna mention three points. Number one, if you are using Bluetooth, you can only connect to one device at a time. Number two, as I said earlier in the video, the heart rate monitor only sends a signal when it is actually on. So if you're trying to connect and it's just here on the side, it won't send any signal, it will not be transmitting. Number three, when you are connecting via Via Bluetooth you never connect via the settings on your device so you never go into iOS or Android and go into Bluetooth and look for the heart rate monitor what you do is you go into the app of choice I'm going to be using Zwift and then within the app that is where you will search for the heart rate monitor so with those three points out the way let's get the Cospo heart rate monitor connected I'm gonna start with Android because people have reported issues now I'm gonna be using a Google pixel 2 for reference now what you want to do is you want to open up your app of choice again I'm gonna be using Zwift then within Zwift I want to look for the sensor search and what this is gonna do is actually look for anything transmitting a signal. So again, you wanna have the heart rate monitor on, and then when it pops up on Zwift, and you simply wanna press the heart rate monitor, and then you wanna press OK, and you should start seeing your heart rate transmitted and appearing on screen. So that worked okay on Android, and what I'm gonna do now is try this on iOS. I am using the iPhone 8. 
With iOS, it is a little bit different. You have to connect to a speed or cadence sensor first. So what we're gonna do is open up Swift and then we're gonna to go to the sensor search as we did on Android. Now this time we wanna search for a speed and cadence sensor. Now I have my speed sensor attached. So what we're gonna do is just connect to that. So once we connect to the speed sensor, what we're then gonna see is a heart rate monitor option. Then you click on the heart rate monitor and we should see our heart rate monitor appear. Once we see it appear, simply click on it, click OK, and then we are connected, good to go. So now we've had it working on Android and iOS, what I wanna do is actually connect to my Cycle computer, and this is gonna connect with Ant Plus. So what I'm gonna do is open up the settings on my Cycle computer. Now this is gonna vary depending on what Cycle computer you have. I have the Garmin 800. So I wanna go into the sensors and I wanna actually start searching for the heart rate monitor. Again, you want the heart rate monitor on. When it appears, it will just automatically connect. So it should notify you on the screen that it has connected and it has found a heart rate monitor or heart rate sensor. And once it's done that, you are good to go. Right, so let's go out for a spin. Gonna check the heart rate monitor, then we're gonna upload the ride to Strava and check the data when we get back, so stay tuned. So on the road, heading towards Victoria Park here in London, the east side of London. The heart rate monitor has been all good so far. It connected straight away, to be honest, super, super quick. And yeah, it's just been reporting, sending the signal without issue. So I'm gonna get to the ride, see how it is in Vicky Park. So after 15 minutes of wearing this heart rate monitor, I think it's really good, you know. It's really comfy. Compared to my Garmin, I'd probably say it's a little bit more comfy. I think it's the silicon or the sort of slick plastic bit inside the strap that I actually like. After a while, they're all kind of similar. You just kind of get used to wearing them and it doesn't feel like you've got anything on. So it's already starting to feel like that. So all good so far. So I've just done 10 miles, 45 minute ride. Really impressed with this heart rate monitor. Comfortable, connected easily, cheap price. What is there not to like? Okay, so test ride is complete. I've uploaded the ride to Strava. I'm just gonna go in and check that the data is actually all okay on Strava. So I'm just gonna load Strava up on my phone. Let's go to Strava. I'm just gonna click on the ride. Then what I'm gonna do is come to view analytics. I want to scroll down to heart rate. Now, as we can see, that is a pretty consistent line. So we've got 115 beats per minute average, 154 max. And that little peak towards the end on the right hand side was a sprint that I'd done. I wanted to boost it up to make sure that I actually logged a, a higher heart rate. And the average seems pretty good. As you can see, it didn't drop out at all. So it's always got my heart rate throughout the whole ride. It didn't drop down to zero. So everything seems to be looking good on there. So what are my final thoughts about the Kospu H6M heart rate monitor? I think it is really, really good. I think it's more comfy than my Garmin heart rate monitor, mainly because of this nice slick sort of plastic lining on the inside. I like that you can actually take this off as well and then you can just wash the strap which is quite a big thing actually because obviously it's on your body and you're using it during exercise and it's actually only 27 pounds i got this unit for and that's pretty good going it's actually just gone on offer as well and it's 20 pounds so compare that to 30 40 50 pounds for a let's say a, a top end brand it's actually really really good value so this gets my seal of approval now, if you wanna buy this heart rate monitor, you can do so using the link below. It'll be the first link in the description below. If you do buy it through that link, I do get a little bit of cash back and that helps the channel grow so I can do more reviews like this. So thanks again for watching. If you do like this content, subscribe for more content just like this. And if this video was helpful to you, smash the like button. So until next time, beautiful people, self-love, safe riding.